What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we are finally be talking about this. There she is, the good old Golf 3 Wagon. Now, before I take you on a full tour of this car and tell you all the current plans for it, let me show you how we got here. So I didn't plan on recording today, which is why I'm currently on the iPhone, but something interesting happened. We had this get dropped off. I think it's a 1996 or 97 Golf 3 variant and a nice dark blue uh, Joker dish you can see there. It has the uh, red and smoke taillights. Overall, not a bad car. A little bit of rust on the front doors, but the rest of the car is actually pretty clean, so replacing the door isn't bad. But the guy said he thought the transmission or the clutch was bad because couldn't get it going to gear anymore, and it just stopped working. Um, the car still runs, so I came to check it out. If you come in here, and we look, if you push the clutch pedal down, it just goes to the floor, which to me thinking the clutch cable snapped, um, but he was telling me that it wasn't. And also the interior, got the uh, Sport Edition Joker seats, not bad. Kind of a base model. Uh, no AC. The radio's gone. But like I said, overall, the car's pretty clean. But I'm looking inside the uh, the engine bay here. I'm going to put this out quick. If you look down there, what's missing? There is no bracket or the little clip on the end of the clutch cable is gone. So it snapped off or fell off, whatever happened. But that's what happens when the clutch cable um, is loose. And he was telling me that was an issue. And I found that was the issue. So let me put the hood probably real fast. So what I did over in that stack, we had another Mark III. I got me a new cable right here. So I'm just gonna swap that on and the car should be good to go. Like I said, it runs no problem. Um, I think this is the only issue. And he was telling me up and down that it wasn't the clutch cable. And I was like, I bet it is, but hey, you can still junk your car that runs perfectly, which I mean, hey, this might be my new wagon another car for the junkyard and again because he thought the transmission was shot all because one little clip had broke but hey you want to junk it i'll take it like i said overall not not terrible condition there's some rust on the front on the front doors here you can see all through here and then some on the bottom side again replacing a door isn't in the world the fender itself is actually in great shape it's surprising uh rear doors are okay there is the molding coming off but glue that back down not a big deal rear of the car looks fairly clean the hatch itself which is surprising as well is clean on the handles clean the usual areas of rust are actually looking normal which is surprising uh that door front driver uh, front passenger door same kind as the front door over there a little bit of rust on the outside but nothing too major and then on the roof the clear coat is peeling but overall it's not a not a terrible car like i said it has the sport edition joker seats it's got 204,000 miles on the kilometer and then yeah pretty much your just basic uh mark three golf wagon oh all manual windows front and rear which is dope my favorite overall cool car so there's a chance i might buy this 
We'll see. I've always wanted a wagon. Now, I do want a VR6 Synchro. This is a 1.8 front-wheel drive. And I just, uh, that engine, that 1.8 engine, I keep getting this engine, but the car itself isn't bad. And the price I can pay for it to get it, I don't know. So maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll buy it and sell it. Or maybe I'll buy and keep it. We'll have to see. But just a little, little video to show you guys the first day of me seeing this car. We'll see what happens. Take a look to the engine bay. Shut towers look clean. No rust in there. Like I said, fenders look clean. That's all good. Looking at the VIN, my eighth one right there is going to be a W, which means this is another Wolfsburg car, meaning it should have the nice, you can actually see it down there, all the nice wax. So if you ever pulled the engine out of this, uh, the bay should clean up nicely and be just like how it is on the outside. This is my third Wolfsburg car for the junkyard. Pink Floyd's Wolfsburg, Savoy's Wolfsburg, and if I get this one, another Wolfsburg one. And again, you can see the clutch cable hanging down. So like that, I got a new clip. For that, I get a jack, lift the arm up, pop the clip on, and that should be good to go. I'll show you that it runs real quick. It also has a dual fan rad support, which is nice. No AC, but dual fan rad support. Let me uh, start it up real quick. Where's the key? There it is. Start right up, no issues. Bit of an exhaust like it sounds like so the car's not perfect but again be able to buy this car for so cheap i mean i don't know should we get another car for the junkyard and at this point we would have a two-door mark three golf we'll have a four-door mark three golf we'll have the sedan which is miley and then we'll have a wagon just in a cabrio we'll see like i said i just want to get some before video of the car the first day seeing it uh, I'm going to fix the clutch cable thing, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe sometime this week, maybe next week, we'll have to uh, bring her home. We'll see. We'll see. But we might be buying another junk car, car, and it's a wagon. The first wagon we've got in since I've been here, in over two and a half years, which is crazy. That's not bad, though. Really not bad. A few minor things here and there, but that's what we do, boys. We get a junk car, car we make her look nice. You know what I'm saying? Easy's. We'll see, we'll see. Also, just notice, I totally missed this. This car does have AC. Right there, AC. Which is why it has the dual fan round support. I thought it was weird being a non-AC car having the dual fan round support, but the car has AC. It's got a vacuum leak, I can hear it somewhere. We'll have to address that, but it idles smooth. Does the AC work? Could it be? Could it be? A second here we got my glove on but we'll give her a second here every one of my junk car cars so far has had ac that worked which is crazy uh, oh wait that's why i put this to cold oh there it is there it is ice cold ac every one of my junk car cars has ac so far and it's ice cold that's what i'm talking about no engine lights on interesting boys interesting interesting we'll see so we got the wagon moved to a new spot you can see i fixed the cable down there that's all good to go and then if you come inside here clutch pedal up and bam good to go car runs and drives no problem ac works missing a radio but i mean i don't know i like it so we'll see we shall see but for now We'll leave it right here. Not a bad looking car. Also, this is Mystic Blue. Kind of cool. Paint seems to be in decent shape, but not bad. Mystic Blue 1997 Volkswagen Golf Wagon. We'll see. So what you guys just watched was the very first day I saw this car at the yard. And as I pulled up that day, I still couldn't believe we actually had a Golf 3 Wagon finally going to the yard we've had plenty of golfs uh, we've had a handful of ventos but never an actual wagon this is the first one and i was hyped talked to the guy a little bit and he said yeah uh clutch pedal sticks to the floor they told me my transmission was bad uh the clutch was bad and it was just it's all shot i'm like well is it a vr6 is vr6 hydraulic clutch 
it'll stick to the floor if it's not bled properly. He's like, no, no, it's a 1.8. My clutch pedal sticks to the floor. They said everything's wrong with it. Um, and I'm just going to scrap it and move on. And I was like, I'm like, if it's not a VR6 with hydraulic clutch, I can almost guarantee that clutch cable is broken or something is missing from that setup. Could be wrong, but more than likely, that's what it is. So he left, junked the car. I went and checked it out. And lo and behold, as you guys saw, the clutch cable, the little bracket at the bottom that holds it into like a little plunger arm was completely gone. Whether it snapped and the bushiness wore out and it fell off, I don't know. But super, super easy five minute fix that they told him whatever shop this car was at they told him it was all trashed and he needed to, all everything had to be new so his loss my gain actually the next day i purchased this car and brought it home now on to the portion of what my plans are for this car because i want a 2.9 synchro wagon this one's a beautiful color it's a cool spec it's a cool addition um but i just don't want a 1.8 it does have ac which is cool um but i just don't know if this was the wagon for me but it's such a low price and i've always wanted one at least say I owned a wagon for a little bit, uh, definitely worth it. But I think the plan, I told the patrons this as well, I think we're gonna do a short little build on this car and then sell it through Open Imports through Nick and then this car goes to the States to possibly one of you guys. Uh, that's the current mindset behind it. I, I, I don't, I like the car, um, I love the color, I love the addition, but I just don't know if it's the wagon that I want to have. I said I want a 2.9 Synchro or a TDI Synchro. Um, I just don't know if this is the one for me. But as I work on the car, as I fix it up and clean it, because I haven't touched this car literally at all, my mindset might change. But current mindset is short little project. Um, actually, the biggest thing for this project, uh, build this car real quick, sell it, and this is going to fund the rest of Pink Floyd. That was my big like goal with this one. Uh, I said, quick build, we'll do coilovers, we'll do some OEM wheels on it, I already have some BBSs upstairs. We'll clean up the outside of the car, fix some molding, uh, possibly fix the headliner, and a few other things here and there, put an OEM radio back in the car, and then sell this to fund the Pink Floyd, and then just get the car rolling, 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 which is why I want to do this car before I touch that car, because this car potentially will be all the funds to finish that car. So, I'll take you guys on the tour of the entire car. Um, the goods, the bads, what we're gonna fix, what we're gonna change. And then like I said, possibly this will be the next car we're, that we're selling through Nick, Open Air Import. He's the one who shipped the Savoy over for me. Flawless execution, it went so, so smooth. So this might be a car that uh could be one of yours. It'll definitely go to the States. So uh, take you on a tour. So since we're already sat into the car, let me give you the full tour of the interior. It's pretty standard Mark III stuff. Uh, crank window is my absolute favorite. Standard cloth door cards. The car does have ABS. You can see it right there. Uh, standard Euro switches, fog light in the rear only. Uh, 204,000 kilometers on the dash. Not bad at all. It is missing the OEM radio, sadly, but you know your boy stocked up. I got one for the car already. Not a big deal. The car does have AC. Very, very big plus. So if you're in Florida and you got this car, you're good to go and it blows ice cold i don't know what it is all of my junkyard cars have perfect ac and it's awesome moving on uh upper airbag over here standard your glove box over there um no cup orders because europeans just don't have drinks in their car apparently for whatever reason uh manual car which is always a plus the e-brake does work but when you pull it down the button sticks you gotta give it a little little tap just you know just standard you know volkswagen things just little you know, it just is what it is. It does so have the very nice sport Joker Edition seats with the bolstering down here. I much prefer these over just the base model seats with no bolstering. Uh, that is very nice. Unfortunately, this one does have a tear in it, but finding new ones of these or fabric is not too hard to do. You can see the seats back there in the rear, good to go. We do have some blue floor mats down here. It's also, it's very, very dirty. I, like I, said, I haven't done anything in this car, no cleaning, no washing, nothing. It's just been chilling since I got it. So it definitely needs a major, major wash, but we've got these wrong floor mats down here here the carpet looks to be in good shape under all this i don't see any tears or that kind of stuff in the normal spot so that's good you've got your standard airbag steering wheel um that's pretty much it for the front like i said it's a very standard mark three interior crank windows uh just the normal stuff and let me show you in the back just so you guys can see it real fast bam this car actually did have these little Blue trim floor much kind of cool. Again, cranks in the rear, Joker Edition seats, the wagon version of the uh, rear seats, which is cool. Standard low console in the back, and that's pretty much it back here. And let me take you to the back, back of the car, way back here, with this massive hatch in the room. Yeah, just enough. This one does come with a very nice privacy cover, actually in almost perfect shape. I love having these things. You kind of just compress it back like that. And then everything back here, standard carpet. You got that down there. Very, very clean back here, which is nice. Uh, your standard little cubbies on the sides there. 
and over here does have central locking to the pump right there which is also a cool plus to the car and yeah that's pretty much it for the inside of the car it does need a definite cleaning um but it's really not in terrible shape a little rip in the driver's seat uh not a big deal and oh also the uh headliner is uh sagging down so whether i pull it out and actually do it or it's did some pins for the time being and if you buy the car you can fix it yourself um we'll see but back here very very clean taken care of you see the pink right there lc5l because this car is mystic blue very very cool color but yeah that is our interior tour of the car like i said overall very very good shape i'll show you the driver's seat again you can get a better look at the tear we have right here but bolstering is in pretty good shape on both sides a little bit of wear on this side um but passenger seat like usual is in pretty much perfect shape which is good to go you have the adjuster here and the scroll like i said carpet down here is dirty everything is dirty but i don't even know what kind of mat this little half and half thing is but original carpet not trouble no holes down there that's a good to go so once i go through clean everything it's gonna look pretty much perfect in here minus you know, like the hole and the sag headliner which i might fix we'll see other than that i said very very standard inside of the car and just your typical mark three you guys have seen before but i'll show you again the car starts up every single time there's also no lights on the dash turns right on no uh no or anything no lights on no abs no engine light nothing off put the e-brake down you can see clean smooth idle runs well there's actually no like, issue stop stop that thank you <laughs> there's actually no issue running wise to the car he just turned it in because the clutch cable broke and he was told that it was all shot and he had to get rid of the car so car runs great like i said uh ac blows cold heats fine defrost everything's good to go in the car it just needs a serious cleanup which is exactly what i'm gonna do here it's actually got like a decent little sound to it whether it's an exhaust leak i don't know but for stop, i mean not a horrible sound i'll take you to the front so you can see the uh the engine bay Let me turn this off so you can actually hear me talk up there. I will say the engine bay is not the cleanest. Um, you can see there's lots of oil residue around this section, so definitely need a new valve cover gasket. And also by this flange and probably that one as well, same as like on the Crotto, uh, it's leaking coolant through there. So uh, a couple of things are replacing here, but I mean, the car runs fine, no problem right now, everything works, but obviously you wanna go through, clean up all this stuff. So valve cover gasket, uh, new flange, new flange, and just go through and clean as much as possible. I think back here, I see like, it's like wet through there. I'm not sure what that's from but i have done nothing with this car so once i dive into it and start going through stuff through and see exactly what this car needs uh change it out make sure it's good to go for whoever owns it next we'll say again as you guys heard earlier this car is from the wolfsburg factory same as the savoy uh same as the pink floyd which means all of the rails down here should have that nice thick wax on it meaning once you pull the engine out if you do pull it out and you clean the bay it should look like this same as how the savoy turned out and the pink floyd it just comes so clean and i really enjoy having all that wax covering and protecting the rails which is a very very nice feature not all of the cars got that i know the gti from brussels belgium definitely did not get the wax treatment but the car from wolfsburg uh definitely did so she needs some maintenance things some cleaning up for sure but We'll get it all taken care of. Now we've done the interior and the engine bay, moving on to the complete exterior of the car. Overall, it's in pretty good shape um, for being someone's just daily driver that they really didn't care much about. It survived pretty well. There are some issue spots here and there, but for the most part, it's not bad. Now the color, Mystic Pearl Blue, beautiful color on the wagon. I really like it a lot. We'll start in the front and work our way to the back and I'll show you every, the good spots, the bad spots, and anything in between this fog light on here has a hole in it which i replaced not a big deal your standard seal lip down there the bumper has a few scuffs there's one right there one on this corner a little one right there and then on this side as well as the scuff i saw right over here nothing major but just if i want to point out a fender on both sides are surprisingly clean like there's a little bit of rust right here but most times this whole section usually rotted out and it's surprisingly you know still there which is very surprising for these cars now i will say this hardware is not oem if you paint match that's not correct which is why the doors you can see this that's for the door rubbing 
the fender because this got put back on and it's too close to the door. Same as on this, as you can see, not correct hardware, not OEM. And again, this door is rubbing on the inside of the fender, causing the paint to peel back. I thought it was like rust underneath. It's just like surface rust where you probably just touch a pen it and be good to go. Um, but whenever they pulled either this off or this off, whatever happened, I'm not quite really sure, but this is too close. Got to adjust that, fix it, push it back a little bit so this isn't rubbing anymore. Moving on to driver's door already here. This one looks to be pretty good. Maybe a little dent right there. That's just dirt. Um, there's a little rust mark here by the window trim. Other than that, the driver's door looks pretty good. The sills are actually, surprisingly enough, in one piece. I got under the car. Everything looks to be pretty good. Rockers aren't beat the crap. Uh, the cars aren't rusting underneath, which is very nice. Back door, same thing. A little spot right there next to the, uh, the seal. And then this one has the molding that's like pushed back and like popped off. So got to fix that, get it back on. But it's nice we still have it. Again, rear rocker down here, all good to go. Uh, no big holes, nothing like that. This whole quarter looks to be completely good to go. And then down here is fine. You can see the nice little Joker badge right there. Uh, we'll talk about the roof in just a second. The rear hatch is in surprisingly perfect shape. Normally down here, you get rust on the bottoms, but this is good all around the hatch, all the corners. Surprisingly enough, it's all in very, very good shape. Rear bumper had a spot where I got bumped into a little bit. You can see some of these stress kind of cracks there. Something just pushed up against it. It's not enough to like crack the bumper, but definitely crack the paint just a little bit. You have this Joker badge right there and also the golf badge. Uh, plus the very cool red and smoke taillights factory from Hella. Cool little touch to the car and it'll take you to the roof. So the paint in the car, all this is pretty much good the roof i'm not sure what happened but almost all the clear on the roof in the center section is completely gone so that would definitely need a respray um but not the biggest deal in the world but obviously i want to point out on the car uh roof rails here standard for all the wagons take you to the other side real quick we can look at the doors as well um let's see through here this is clean a little bit of a bubble on the roof right there we've got i showed you this already that's from the door rubbing down here, rockers look good. A little spot on the door. I said it's dirt, just kidding. That's fine. Maybe a little dent right there. This section looks to be all clean through here. A little spot right there with the window seal. Uh, this back door, good all the way through. And across the top, a little scuff on the door right there. And then rockers good. And this whole section of the quarter is going all the way back. And you have one more sticker there, the standard Orlando wheels, and they're all missing the center logo. You have 256 vented, yeah, 256 vented in the front, and you have drum brakes in the rear, and that's pretty much uh, extra to the car. It's not perfect by any means, but it's workable. There's definitely a lot of potential in this car. Great color, uh, you yank that out and put a new engine in it, uh, clean up the interior, lots of potential here but i just don't know if it's for me so like i said the plan is to do a very small build on this car coilovers uh muffler a different set of oem wheels in the car and then go through and just clean everything clean the interior get the car looking right definitely like a show car i'm not gonna go full out like build mode on it but a quick little thing and then hopefully put it for sale and uh send it off to the states and potentially one of you can own your very own wagon which again i thought about keeping it for myself and putting like a vr6 in it and then having it for myself as the daily but it's just not the platform. I love the color. I would if this color was on a VR6 all day long, it's mine. But it's just not the it's not what I want exactly. For somebody else, this might be the wagon of your dreams, the color, the addition. This might be for you, but it's just not the one that I want. So quick little build series for you guys to watch and then probably put it for sale as soon as possible. And once this sells, like the biggest thing, once this sells and it's gone. It will fund the Pink Floyd and we get the car done because we are running out of time and it has to be in Florida very, very soon. So got to get it done. So looking at the car now, let me tell you all the parts I already have for this thing ready to go. I have an OEM radio for the inside. I have other steering wheel because that one's kind of worn. I might swap that out. I have a new front lip. I have front coilovers. I need to get some rear ones. I have a set of 15 inch OEM BBS wheels for the car as well. Uh, we're not going for like a crazy like baller wheel setup, just a very nice OEM look for the car. A little bit lower, um, some nicer wheels. I have that muffler you guys saw I picked up. That's for this wagon as well. Um, and that's pretty much the exterior of the car. Very, very middle, but it'll look good. And then maintenance stuff for the engine without we'll the order sometime soon. And then driver's side seat, I might just leave it as is, or if I find a new one, I'll swap it out for a nice no torn one. Uh, the foam's still great, but it's got that rip in it and it's pretty obvious to see. 
and that's pretty much it like i said the car runs good already it's a beautiful color as it is just a very simple build lowered a little bit a little bit more sound nicer wheels and it'll be pretty much good to go make sure the maintenance is good and that's pretty much it and then the rest of it will just be cleaning the engine bay cleaning the paint making it shine once again and then going through the vacuum cleaning the carpet cleaning the seats and just wiping everything down and making it look nice and new again i will say currently the wagon is a bit of a mess the engine bay is gross the paint's filthy the inside is a complete disaster but once we go through it cleans the entire car lower it new wheels i think this thing's gonna look really really good when it's all done so yeah, that is your complete tour of the Golf 3 Wagon and the current build plans I have for it. Now, don't be mistaken, this is not a giveaway. There's no entries. You can't win this car. It is not a giveaway. It will be for sale, but later on. So don't offer me money now. I will ignore your offers. It's not for sale right this second, but later on, that is the current plan for the car. Hope you guys are excited about the mini project that this car will be, which will probably start next weekend because tomorrow I'm actually going on a little trip, which you'll probably see that video. I don't think I'm bringing my computer with me, so probably next sunday you'll see where i'm going tomorrow and then that following week we'll start on this car as always do not forget be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time peace